likely ones that we haven't seen. We just climbed up about 2,000 feet. We made it to the highest point in this uh, drainage, the absolute highest. I just got a glimpse of white going behind that knoll. I don't think we can get up the slide. I'm thinking just, is there a way down at that bottom? The strip is where it's bright green, gotcha. right where it's wet. When I first came in, I'm just coming in perfect. Oh, I had it set up just right, and I'm just starting to touch down in this grass, and I'm thinking the grass is about a foot long, and the bottom never came. And the plane's sinking, and the plane's sinking, and I'm thinking, man, when are we going to hit the bottom? Right on. No adrenaline rush there. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> We're at about 4,000 feet with the peaks uh, climbing to seven, even seven and a half uh, thousand feet up above us. That one is tough and craggy all the way around it, but I don't know how it is around the other side. We'll camp out here tonight, get up early tomorrow morning, try to get up to the top. And there's a ram right up there going across the top of that mountain. Oh yeah. We plan on getting up this morning early and getting a start up the mountain. We're still about a day away from the opener, but we were hoping to get up top. It finally has cleared, so we're getting ready to head up. We've seen sheep on both sides. Hopefully we can get up, get above those sheep, get ready, and uh, when the opener hits tomorrow, I'll be ready and on them and ready to do our thing. We made it. There she be. All right. That's gorgeous. You look at the peak from the bottom, and it looks like it's just going to be you know, like a baseball field flat at top, but we know it's not going to be that way. No. I have a feeling it's going to be just a gradual rise until the next 7,000 foot peak. <laughs> He's 317 yards away. He's a legal ram, just a beautiful ram. 